Topic, Understanding Elementary Shapes Measuring Line Segments Line Segment A line which has two end points is known as line segment. There are several ways to compare any two line segments. Comparison by observation. We can compare line segments by observing them. Comparing by tracing. We can compare line segments by using tracing paper. We can trace CD and place it on a B. Now we can decide which one is longer. Comparison using ruler and divider, a ruler is divided into 15 parts. Each part has length of 1 cm each cm is again divided into 10 subparts. Each subpart is of 1 mm. So 1 cm equals 10 mm. Procedure, open the divider. Put the end point of one of its arms at A and the end point of the second arm at B. Opening of the divider should not be disturbed. Now lift the divider and put it on the ruler. Place one end point at the zero mark of the ruler and read the mark against the other end point. Types of angle Acute angle Acute angle lies between degree and 90 degree. In other words, the angle which is less than right angle is called an acute angle. Right angle. A right angle is of 90 degree. Obtuse angle. An obtuse angle lies between 90 degree and 180 degree. In other words, the angle which is greater than right angle or smaller than a straight angle is called an obtuse angle. Straight angle. A straight angle is 180 degree exactly. In other words, Turning by to right angles in the same direction is known as straight angle. Turn from degree to 90 degree is one right angle and 90 degree and 180 degree is another right angle. So two right angles make a straight angle. Complete angle. A complete angle is formed when we turn by four right angles or by two straight angles in the same direction. This one complete turn is known as one revolution. A complete angle is the angle for one revolution. Reflex angle. A reflex angle lies between 180 degree and 360 degree. In other words, the angle which is larger than straight angle is called a reflex angle. Measuring angles. We can measure the angle with the help of protractor. Steps for measuring angle ABC. 1. Keep the protector on a midpoint, in such a way that it lies on vertex B of the angle. Two. Adjust the protractor so that BC is along the straight edge of the protractor. Three. There are two scales on the protector. Read that scale which has the zero angle mark coinciding with the straight edge, I dot E with ray BC. 4. The mark shown by B on the curved edge gives the degree measure of the angle. We write M angle ABC equals 40 degree. Or simply angle ABC equals 40 degree.
perpendicular lines. Two lines are said to be perpendicular to each other if two lines intersect each other and the angle formed between them is a right angle. If PQ is perpendicular to a B, then we write PQ perpendicular a B. Perpendicular bisector A perpendicular bisector divides the line segment into two equal parts. It passes through the midpoint of the line segment. It also meets the line segment at the right angle. Here, PQ bisects a B through Q. Q is the midpoint. It divides a B into two equal parts. That is, a Q equals QB. Therefore, PQ is perpendicular bisector of a B. Triangles on basis of sides. Scaling triangle. A triangle which has all three unequal sides is known as a scalene triangle. Isosceles triangle, a triangle which has two equal sides is known as an isosceles triangle. Equilateral triangle, a triangle which has three equal sides is known as an equilateral triangle. Triangle on basis of angles. Acute angled triangle, an acute angled triangle has all angles less than 90 degree. All three angles are acute in an acute angled triangle. Right angled triangle, a triangle consisting of one right angle, 90 degree, is known as right angled triangle. Abduce angled triangle. A triangle having one angle greater than 90 degrees is called an obtuse angled triangle. Polygons Number of sides Name Illustration 3. Triangle 4. Quadrilateral 5. Pentagon 6. Octagon